Hey guys, how's it going? I just I want to do this video, just have some fun here and read through the comments on Brian Denlinger's latest video. He left the comments open on this for some reason. Uh, but I do want to note that I was the first one to leave a comment and that my comment was false teacher. It was pretty simple and to the point. And, uh, anyways, I guess Robert Breaker left a big message here and it's got a lot of, uh, people talking about it and stuff, so... Let's just go over some of this. Robert Breaker said the word rapture is not in the Bible either. Does that not mean, or does that mean it's a pagan doctrine too? Are we now against the rapture because the word is not in the Bible? Come on. Now I thought this was kind of funny because it's like Robert Breaker is acting like he really cares about Denlinger here. He wants to help him. He wants to convert his viewpoint here. And, um, if anybody's followed Denlinger I have for a long time, and you know that he doesn't call it the rapture, well, I mean, he has in the past, but, you know, he says it's the pre-catching away, uh, or it's the, you know, yeah, the pre-catching away of the body of Christ, uh, or the pre-Jacob's trouble catching away, however he says it, you know, he, he tries to use biblical terms, so he's sticking with biblical terms. Uh, but, you know, that I teach that the rapture is not what people say it is. You know, there is no seven-year tribulation and all that. I don't believe in futurism. The Bible doesn't teach it. And, uh, you know, the rapture is just, you know, when we die that our, we, we go to be with the Lord. Anyway, you know, so here Robert Breaker shows his ignorance of, of what Denlinger says and teaches, obviously, right off the bat. And, um, you know, Denlinger's already made videos about Robert Breaker. And this whole thing is that Denlinger just posted a short video, um, more rebuking people who believe in the Trinity. And it's just a stupid short video. And, uh, he left the comments on it, and then there's all these comments on it. So Robert Breaker says, come on, God the Son is easily found in the Bible term, Son of God, found 48 times in the KJV. Duh. What's wrong with you? Who's adding to the Bible itself by using those terms? No one. No one is literally adding to the words of, to the Bible itself and printing them in a book and then calling that scripture. No, we use words like that to describe Bible doctrines found in the Bible itself. If you believe otherwise, then stop using the term rapture. Brian Denlinger would easily come out and say, I don't call it the rapture, I call it the pre-Jacob's trouble catching away of the body of Christ, or whatever he does. You know, he goes this long, roundabout way of saying, you know, anyways, didn't it come from the Latin Catholic Vulgate anyways? If you are consistent, you must stop using that term. Man, this guy is like doesn't watch Brian Denlinger at all. Well, what a fool. Anyways... Um, as far as, you know, God the Son is easily found in the Bible term, Son of God. And Brian Denlinger would just say, no, the Bible says Son of God, but it doesn't say God the Son. Uh, and so, you know, obviously the Bible does teach the Trinity that God is, you know, one being, three persons, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. It's fine to say God the Son. Okay, um. All this arguing about some of these terms is kind of ridiculous, but sometimes, you know, terms matter and things. But the thing is, yeah, the Bible does teach that Jesus is the Son of God. It does teach that he is God. And so, you know, and, and not only can we just see, yeah, but by the Son of God, but also Jesus speaking of, you know, God as his Father, uh, shows that he is God's Son. I know that sounds confusing, but this is probably going to be a long, confusing video, so just beginning with the confusion. Anyways, now I can't wait for you to delete this comment, but I would double dog dare you to leave it up for other people to read, for God forbid, should anyone have any sort of opinion different than that of Brian Dillinger, that others can see and read for themselves. But Robert Breaker doesn't allow comments on his videos, last that I knew. 
I guess that I should check that out, but I'm just going to assume that he still does not allow comments. Very hypocritical of Robert Breaker to say that. And double dog dare you. He's so corny and such like a person who just doesn't come across as legit, you know. Um, I believe the KJV it clearly teaches Jesus is God, God the Father is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. You used to believe this, do you still? It's one God, not three gods, made up of three parts. Okay, and here's where, you know, some people who have talked about this before, um, disagreeing with the fact that Robert Breaker teaches that God is three parts, but yet they're going to jump on Robert Breaker's bandwagon again and, uh, you know, kind of ignore that again. But anyways... Is made up of three parts or three manifestations. Neither one is true. That's not the belief of the Trinity. It's not three manifestations. That's like modalism. Three parts? No, three persons. Okay, one being three persons. It's really pretty simple, you know, if, it, if it's taught right. It should be pretty clear. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, Robert Breaker gets it wrong here. And a lot of people are saying, Amen, Brother Breaker, and stuff. I don't know if they didn't go through and read these comments. We are made in his image, so we also have three parts, body, soul, and spirit. And here he uses a false analogy that the Trinity is three parts, like... Human beings have three parts, but we don't have three parts. We have two, which I've talked about before. And again, God is not, you know, one God of three parts. It's three persons. There's a difference, okay? Wow. Anyways, but we can't separate our three parts into three separate manifestations at once as God can. This is such a wrong teaching of the Trinity. This is absurd. Okay, we are one, but made up of three parts, period. That simple. Why are you making it so hard for people to understand? So he's not only teaching the Trinity wrong, he's also teaching the nature of man wrong, because man has two parts. See, God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and then he breathed the spirit into man, and he became a living soul. So there are two elements there, which is the body, and then there is the... Uh, you know, there's the like the physical, the dust out of the earth, and then there is the, you know, I don't know what you say, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd say metaphysical, but, you know, there's the spirit part, which is, you know, it's interchangeable soul or spirit, whatever way you want to go about it. But there's only two parts. I've made a video on that and went into a lot more detail and gave a lot of scripture to back that up. Uh, but people who teach the body, soul, and spirit, they only go to like two verses that they say, claim teaches what they teach. And then, but anyways, he's messing up so many things here. And this is why Robert Breaker is a false teacher. And he's taught so many strange doctrines. He's a Ruckvanite, just like Brian Denlinger. And they teach a lot of the common stuff. Like mainly one of the things I had a big issue with is that they teach people in the Old Testament were saved by works, and that even people in the future could be saved by works. That's not a correct understanding of salvation at all, or God at all. Uh, so, let's see. Why are you so against Jesus being the Son of God, or God the Son? Do you know that the ancient Gnostics believe the same thing? Do you do? Look up Gnostic doctrine, for you appear to be fall, falling headlong into it. And so, um, let's see, whether you believe it or not, God is one God in three persons. Now he says that God is three persons, and earlier he was saying three parts, three manifestations. He's just all over the, the chart here. This is not a man-made doctrine, this is Bible doctrine. Any second grader can see this if they simply read the King James Bible, for it says that God the Father is a person, and God the Son, Jesus, is a person, plus the Holy Ghost is called He, so He is personified in the Scriptures. 
Also in Hebrews 1.8 we read, um, you know, this might be one of the first paragraphs that I could agree with, maybe. Uh, seems pretty okay there, but, you know, given what he's already said, that he's already kind of contradicted himself here. But, um, yeah, and leaving a long thing like this, like hoping that to change Tenlinger's mind, I mean, so many people have done that, I've done it in the past. I actually sent him mail and told him, you know, that I didn't agree with be people being saved by works in the Old Testament, and, uh, you know, then he just comes out with a video and slanders me or whatever, so this kind of stuff doesn't work, it just makes him more stiff-necked, and Anyways, also, in Hebrews 1, eight we read, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The context is God the Father saying to the Son, O God, thus God the Son is God. How can you miss this? Hmm. Why do you preach against this? Why are you so adamant in trying to destroy the doctrine of the Trinity? Excuse me, the biblical term is Godhead. And so, uh, again, I don't think that G or that Ryan Denlinger denies that Jesus is God. He says that Jesus is God. He says that the Holy Spirit is God, but he teaches that uh, Jesus is the Father. That's what's messed up here. Um, yeah. And then he teaches, you know, the analogy that Jesus is the body and the Father is the soul and the Holy Spirit is the spirit, which doesn't make any sense. And, um, yeah, so anyways, he's easily building up straw mans here for Denlinger to go against when he's trying to claim that Denlinger is saying things that he isn't. He isn't because apparently he doesn't even watch Denlinger's videos, but he's trying to, like, rebuke him. So I don't need, this doesn't even make sense, you know, I, I don't know. He doesn't even know what Denlinger teaches, but he's on here trying to correct him. Robert Baker is very ignorant. Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16, as the Son of God. Okay, yeah, so the thing is, you know, I don't think that, um, you know, I mean, I don't know if I can 100% say what, what Denlinger teaches either, because it is confusing, but I probably understand it a little bit better than what Robert Baker does, but I think that Denlinger would say that uh, he wouldn't deny that Jesus is the Son of God, but he would say maybe that when Jesus was incarnate or something, he was the Son, and, you know, now he is fully the Father or something because, you know, he's in heaven. I don't know. But he doesn't technically all out de deny that Jesus is the Son of God. He would totally have to deny the text. He doesn't do that. Uh, but he teaches that Jesus is the Father, which is a problem. Okay. He tries to teach that God is like one person. Um, anyways, the Pharisees recognized that by Jesus declaring he was the Son of God, he was declaring that he was indeed God. And how slow this is going already, I think I'm just going to read this first uh, Robert Breaker comment, and then I might upload some other videos and go through some of the other comments, because I saw a lot of errors in here from different people that I wanted to try to help straighten out. Uh, but that's why they wanted to kill him, for in John 19.7 we read, The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. He wanted him dead, because they recognized that he was making himself God by claiming that he was God's son. Do you see that? Why don't you see Jesus as God the son? He's not really going after what Denlinger teaches. What are you doing, Brian? How is this video edifying to anyone? And uh, Breaker always does this. Uh, you know, you can't 
go against false doctrine or expose people or whatever, and then people say that it's, you know, not edifying and, uh, you know, anything negative, as Robert Breaker would say, you know, uh, <laughs> you, you're you nitpicking words and telling people they shouldn't use such words. In the secular world, that's called political correctness. <laughs> Are you now the modern PC police for Bible-believing community? Are you a Christian social justice warrior, too? Uh, are you the new Inquisition? Do you now have the power as Pope to tell anyone what they can and can't say? Is biblical correctness in your eyes? What's going on with you, Brian? I'm just going to kind of ignore this paragraph. I don't even know what to say about that. I love you and pray for you daily. I only hope you'll see that a ministry isn't telling people your opinion and putting them down for not agreeing with you or using the same words as you. Rather, it's edifying people by teaching them what the Bible says, not what it doesn't say, which is what you're doing. Brian would just disagree. He thinks that he is teaching what the Bible says. In giving them the true plan of salvation by receiving the blood atonement of Christ, of Christ by faith, and while I've got you, I'll finish what I've wanted to say but I've held back for many years because you don't allow people to get in touch with you easily. Years ago, you made a video or two against me and said it was your goal to get me kicked off of YouTube. And you also claimed I was only in the ministry to make money. But I let it go, held my tongue, and prayed for you. What happened? It was you who got kicked off YouTube for a while. And it was you by your own admission, who went to Patreon to get money for your preaching. And instead of preaching, teaching the Word of God, all you did was talk bad about others, and you got yourself kicked off of Patreon as well. Now you want to whine and say others got you kicked off? What? No, Brian, you did that to yourself. Old Bob Jones Sr. said, No doubt the problem is with you. Why not make a long, why not take a long look at your heart and get it right with God. Quit talking about others. Focus on Jesus Christ and Him crucified. No one hates you, Brian. You're not my enemy. I love you and I want to see you live right, do right, and preach right. You were so good at the beginning of your ministry. What happened? Now everyone who doesn't agree with you is lost in your mind. Not only that, they are Jesuits and snakes, devils and demon possessed, etc. Should I go on? So only you are saved. Only you have the true doctrine. Sounds like a Gnostic to me. Who thinks only that they have true hidden knowledge? You know, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, Robert Breaker's hypocritical because he taught, he, he, he says a lot of things about, like, if people don't agree what he says, you know, he says, well, what I teach is the Bible, and if you don't agree with it, then, you know, you might want to check if you're saved and things like that. And so he accuses people of not believing what he does to be lost, too. The thing is that Robert Breaker's videos are, like, always, like, an hour long. You just have to sit through and watch all that crap, and, you know, you'll just see little things like that embedded in there. You know, I could go in there and chop up all those times that he says things like that just to show it. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd ever care to do that, but, you know, he does do a lot of the same stuff that Brian does. It's just not so obvious and blatant. But uh, in a lot of ways, he's a hypocrite. So, <clears throat> you're not ministering, Brian. You say one thing, and you go and do another. Doing the very things you accuse others of doing. I love you, Brian, but you need to stop all this and get back to simply preaching and teaching the Word of God and not looking for Jesuits under every bush and thinking you're the only true Christian left on the planet Earth. You're not. I'm here, and so are many others. We need to work together preaching and teaching the Word rather than against one another. Also, where is your joy? Nehemiah 8.10 tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Where is your strength? Paul says to rejoice. Why can't you ever do that? Why do you always focus on the bad? Where are your fruits of the Spirit, Brian? The nine fruits of the Spirit are love, peace, joy, long-suffering, gentleness, or love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. I've heard people say that against me all the time. You're not showing the fruit of the Spirit. You know, that's... I'm sick of hearing crap like that, quite honestly. How come you don't appear to have any of them? <laughs> Aren't you the one that tells others to go look for fruit in the lives of others? And it's not that I don't agree with the Bible. Obviously, I do. We need to have the fruits of the Spirit right. But 
you know, it's not used, it's not, that verse isn't to be used to bash other people because, you know, they're down or something and you say, oh, you must be lost, you're not showing the fruits of the Spirit. You know, that's how people like to abuse that verse. Anyways, anyway, I've said enough. But the truth is I'm praying for you. I will always keep praying for you. I'll never give up on you. I only hope you'll open your eyes and take a good long look at yourself and pull the beam out of your own eye rather than only focusing on the moat. KJ Bible term in the eyes of others. I'm sure you'll either delete this comment or you'll make a video on it. Either way, you'll expose yourself more and prove what I am saying. You have departed from sound doctrine. You don't follow the scriptures that you claim to believe. You accuse others of the very thing you are guilty of. And you devote your time to talking bad about others rather than simply sticking with the book and what it teaches. The pride shows, Brian. You need to humble yourself before God. I pray that you'll repent and get right with God. I love you, man. Even though I'm sure you can't see it, one day you will. Sincerely, in the love of Christ Jesus, Robert Breaker. So, um, like I said, Breaker just builds a bunch of straw mans even against Denlinger. When Denlinger is false, Robert Breaker is not even going after the points that he should be. If he really wanted to take his time and try to rebut Denlinger, you know, he's not even doing that, really. So, uh, that's interesting. I just wanted to read it, I guess, and record it and uh, share my thoughts. And then a lot of people, he's got 66 replies. I mean, some of those are him, but uh, people replied and, you know, uh, some people picked sides, they either amend him or they uh, defended Brian and just tried to go after him. And So I'd like to read through all those too, I wanted to read through like every comment on here. But I don't want it to be like a super long video, so I'm just going to read, I'm going to end this here, and then I'll probably go over some of the other ones. But um, I don't know if this, if anybody, you know... At least you get a, a, an audio reading of Robert Breaker's comments, but, but I don't know if you see any of the points that I've pointed out where, you know, Robert's, you know, just about just as wrong as Denlinger is, you know, where Robert's got it right in some parts in there. It's just kind of like a, um, he's just, you know, throwing darts at a board and some of them hit the target, but then there's a lot of them that are like way out there, so... Anyways, I'm going to end this and uh, hopefully start making a lot more videos in the future, but uh, this, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to probably go over the rest of the comments after a little while, so God bless.